Christian lives should be marked by prayer. You know, when you read Luke chapter 8, the Bible said, And he spake a parable unto them that men ought to pray. Men ought to pray. When we talk about prayer, in our Sunday school lives, we know prayer as a communication between uh, a human and a deity or a supreme being. Now, with the key word being communication, with our little knowledge in communication, we can understand that communication is where I am talking and you are replying. So if I pick a phone and I call and then I say hello, and you reply with another hello, and I ask how are you, and you said you are fine, then there is a reply to whatever I'm saying, so there is a communication. But where you just listen on the phone, where you just you just listen, you don't talk back at what I'm saying or reply, it means there is no communication. Perhaps there was talking, but there was no communication. And most Christians today are on the talking side. We are not actually praying, we are just talking. Uh, we go to God and then we tell God what we want. God, this is what I want. God, I want you to do this for me. God, this is what I'm looking for. Then at the end of the day, we come home. There, there was no communication. The more, the more important thing about prayer is when God is talking back at you. Perhaps he's, he's replying what you are saying. He's, he's actually giving an answer to what you are saying. So until you receive answers to prayers or perhaps a word from God after you have prayed, actually there was no prayer. So there is listening in prayer where you just have to give God time to talk back to you. And these are the times we need to listen to God. These are the times we need to listen to what God is saying. What is God saying in this end time crisis? These things are going on. What is God saying? It's not about what we are doing. It is it Albert Einstein? Uh, he said something that I love so much. He said, "A problem cannot be solved at the at the level or at the same level it was created," which means that when a, uh, when 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 a uh, a prayer is said. It, it actually happens at another level. The answer comes at another level. For instance, Albert Einstein saying that when, when a, a situation is happening and you go to that same locality for answers, you will not get it. It means when things are happening in our natural, we need to look for another dimension. We need another dimension. I see you around. Gome, yeah, you are listening. God bless you for coming online. Now, Bible says that when we pray, it's like an incense to God. And our, our Einstein is saying that a problem cannot be solved at the same level it was created. When crisis happen in our end time, we need to look for another supernatural power to come to our rescue. Because we are looking at, at our natural situations to solve situations naturally. But that isn't the solution. The solution lies perhaps in a different dimension which we need to look for. That is the important Prayer is giving God an, a, a, an authority to come and intercede for us. Now, let's look at something in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. The Bible said, Let us create man in our own image and let them have dominion. Let them have dominion. The key word is them. The Bible uses the word them. It says, let them have dominion. Now, when Bible is saying God wasn't part of the whole equation, God took himself out of the equation. It means whenever there is something happening in our earth realm, God has nothing to do with it. That answers the questions many people are asking that uh, why didn't God come and rescue us? Uh, <laughs> Eve was going to eat of the fruit and then he didn't go and say, hey, Eve, stop it. Why didn't God go there? Because the power was not given to him. He, he was given the power to us human. God gave the power to me, the human beings. That is the most ah, so, so, so enjoying that the kingdom of God has granted man dominion over everything on this earth. And when Satan came deceiving Eve, God was sitting in heaven waiting for Eve and Adam to have called on him. But they didn't. They didn't call on God. And God was in heaven. Why? Because of his word. He said, let them have dominion. He was talking to man. He said, man, have dominion. And man could have 
just called on God. That is where prayer comes in. Prayer is actually looking for solutions at the level which it wasn't created. God doesn't create trouble because Paul admonishes us that all perfect things come from above. And if all perfect things means what? We need perfect things from above. So when things are bad in our lives, we need control to come down. You see, I like Jesus' prayer. He said, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done, not as it is on earth, it is in heaven. It means there are greater things coming from heaven. And when Christians will stand their ground on this land and pray for better things from above, God is going to step in and he's going to transform greater things in our lives. Whenever we are struggling, we need to consult another higher one. That is God in the supernatural. He is listening to us. And I believe in this time of crisis, he is just waiting for his people to come and rely on him. He is waiting for his people to come and call on him. That my people lay at his time to come and listen to me. What is God saying in this time crisis? What is this? What is God saying? We need to listen to God. Because our human understandings cannot solve these end time situations. It cannot. We need to get up and rise up. And end time believers of prayers. We need to pray and cry up unto God. That God come to our rescue. That is the importance of prayer. God is telling us that, hey, I've given you power on earth. But if there is anything you cannot solve, I need you to come down right now. That is why he was talking to Jeremiah in Jeremiah 33. He said, call on me, call on me. Call, call 19. He said, call on me, call on me, and I'll come to your rescue. Until you call on God, God is where he is. He feels your power can handle it. And he's waiting for you. You see, whenever God steps in to help us, without us inviting him, Satan will charge him for um, um, going contrary to his word because he said let them have dominion you gave us power then why are you not coming to interrupt whenever we are going through problems we will not be mature even at the end of the day but I'm telling you this evening that if my people mean in second chronicles he said if my people who are called by my name if my people will humble 